Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mining Weekly editor Martin Quima joins me today to unpack the latest news in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashley. Now, Master Drilling believes that mechanical cutting technology will be positive for the company. You know, this is an incredibly proudly South African technology. You know, you drive out to the west and you pass Fochvol, and that is the headquarters for some brilliant intellectual property that's being developed here that can really help our mining industry. Because when it comes to efficiency, you know, you need that in mining. When it comes to speed, it makes a change in your bottom line, you know, and your unit costs if you can really get moving. And they are coming up with many solutions that could perhaps really assist our Platinum Group Metals mining. And Platinum Group Metals mining needs to be assisted. And I think, you know, when the government looks at this at the moment, they should realize that from a Platinum Group Metals mining point of view, everything possible should be done to help, including recognizing that you know, technology might need to be collaborated here to speed things up. And this is an ideal way because a lot of investigation has been done. It has been initiated by African Rainbow Minerals. But you know, this is the sort of thing that could spread throughout the industry if it really works well, help us here at a time when we need to cut costs in the Platinum Group Metals and market those Platinum Group Metals like crazy you know, in the past. You know, I remember when JCI was in Platinum Group Metals, all they did was market, market, market. Now you see there has been a bit of a fall behind. And a lot of the alternative technologies have got ahead that don't use platinum, and we need to collectively promote the demand. And tell us about developments with gold fields in relation to its South Deep mine. So here we've got another fantastic asset. You know, in Gauteng, out on the West Rand, you've got a mine called South Deep. This is a mechanized mine, even though it's deep. So that has created a lot of challenges for South Africa. You know, we're not used to mechanization. There are not a lot of people involved with a lot of experience in mechanization. So it has had its ups and downs there. But we have a situation now where the gold price seems to have rebased. You know, if the gold price rebases, they should really use time now to get that mine ready because they will still be getting a good return from what they're doing, but at, at the same time, they've got to have longevity, you know, quality ounce longevity with low costs. And I think they're in the process now of getting that right, and we'll see it come through. And they're also in the process of making their energy much cheaper and much cleaner and greener, and they've done very well to lead there. And hopefully they'll also lead well in mechanized mining because the life of that mine extends. It'll probably be, you know, the, still operating when all the other gold mines around the place could have closed. And lastly, Electro Mining 2024 is built to be the greatest in its 52 year history. You know, this is such an important exhibition coming every two years. Again, it focuses on the need for efficiency, the need for looking at new technology and see how that can help. So here you've got 30,000 people, you know, there, there are going to be uh, so many showrooms internally and externally. It is focused on mining, but, you know, mining has such a long supply chain, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it so valuable, that you will have all sorts of supply chain activities involved in that mining to make sure that, you know, you've got the whole big picture uh, uh, in uh, mining and how it can be become more efficient and it is really an opportunity for South Africans to just go along to the, uh, southwest Joburg and to the NASREC, to that Joburg Expo Center and absorb what is going on and come up to the level of what can be done to really make sure that we move forward strongly on the efficiency front in mining. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. Thank you, Sashni. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Mining Weekly daily email newsletter.